Consider the following question. We want to use the Carnot map below to simplify the expression W bar X bar Y plus Z bar X bar Y plus Y bar Z bar. So if we consider the first term in this expression, W bar X bar Y means W bar and X bar and Y. So looking on the Carnot map, W bar is the first two columns, X bar is the first two rows. So to satisfy both W bar and X bar, we're looking at these top four squares here. But it also must be in Y. So since Y is in the second and third column, we'll be looking at these two cells here to represent W bar and X bar and Y. So let's put ones in both of those cells. The next expression, Z bar and X bar and Y. That means Z bar is the top row and the bottom row, while X bar is the top row and the second row. So we must be in the top row. And then looking at Y, Y is the middle two columns. So once again, Z bar and X bar and Y will be this cell here where we already have a one, but it will also be the one beside it here. Finally, our last term here, Y bar and Z bar. Now, Y bar is the first and last column. Z bar is the top and bottom row. So to be in both Y bar and Z bar is actually the four corners here. Now the next step is we then fill in everything else with zeros. And to find a simplified expression for this Carnot map, we now need to look for squares of ones. And we look for eight squares of ones, none of those here. Then we look for four squares of ones. And four squares can appear a number of ways, but this top row, for instance, where these four ones are all in a row, is in fact an example of a four square of ones. And as we'll see later, in a four variable Carnot map like this, four squares actually define two variables together. Now, are there any other four squares? Now, as well as being a block of four in a square, or rows or columns, the four corners, if they all have ones, as in this case, that also represents a four square of ones. And we'll see shortly that is also defined by two variables. But you'll notice that is all the four squares of ones we have. And you'll notice it does not matter if they overlap, but basically we want to cover it with as few of these as possible. Now, since this remaining one that we have not yet covered cannot be incorporated into a four square, a two square can be made with it and the one above it here. So now we need to look at how to write this up for our final expression. First, look at the four square we showed in red and look at what variables that consistently is in the same state. And it is always in Z bar. It is also always in X bar. So it can be defined by Z bar and X bar, which is written like this. Whereas part of it is in Y, part of it is in Y bar. Similarly, part of it is in W, part of it is in W bar, so it cannot be defined in terms of Y and W. Next, let's look at the blue four square that was in the corners. And that one you can see all of those blue corners are in Y bar and are also in Z bar. And finally, looking at our green column, which was a two square, that column is always in W bar and Y. And looking across for rows, both the rows of that are in X bar. So therefore, that one would be written W bar X bar Y. And this then is the simplified expression for this switching circuit.